Stop what you're doing right now, because what I'm about to reveal could change your life forever. And no, this is not an exaggeration. While many ignore the evident signs around us, you're about to discover truths that few have the courage to face. Have you ever thought that the world may not just be adjusting, but heading towards a crucial moment in history? Earthquakes, technological control, super volcanoes, all of this has already been predicted in the Bible, and what's coming is far greater than any crisis we've seen. Are you ready for it? If you think you're safe, or that these events are just coincidences, you need to rethink. The Bible made it very clear in Matthew 24. 7. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. But here's what few will tell you. There's no more time to ignore the signs. The end is closer than it's ever been, and you have the chance to prepare before it's too late. Want to know how? What I'm about to show you in this video might be what will protect you in the difficult times ahead. You don't want to miss a single second because each piece of information here could be the difference between being ready or being caught off guard. Stay until the end and together we will say a powerful prayer that could transform your life. Are you ready to discover what many have been ignoring? We are living in times when the signs are unmistakable and the earth is alerting us in a clear and powerful way. Amid so many distractions, it's crucial to keep our spiritual vigilance. The significant increase in seismic activity, such as the more than 150 recent earthquakes in the Campi Flegre region in Italy, is a direct warning that something much greater is approaching. These tremors are not mere geological events. They are spiritual warnings calling us to turn our eyes back to God and prepare for what's coming. As Jesus warned in Luke 21.11, there will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilences in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. Earthquakes, along with other natural disasters, are tangible reminders of the fragility of our earthly existence and the urgent need to be ready. When the earth shakes, it's as if God is shaking us, reminding us that the end times are near as predicted in various biblical passages. Isaiah 24, 19, 20 describes God's judgment upon the earth. The earth is utterly broken. The earth is split apart. The earth is violently shaken. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a tent. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. Amid these signs, it's easy to get distracted by daily concerns or the technology around us, but we cannot allow this to distance us from the truth and our faith. As Jesus instructs us in Matthew 24, 42, therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. The recent increase in seismic activities is further confirmation that we are living in critical times and spiritual preparation is imperative. We need to stay alert, like the wise virgins who kept their lamps full of oil, ready for the bridegroom's arrival, Matthew 25, 1, 13. It's not just about understanding what's happening around us, but acting with wisdom. Just like Mount Pinatubo, whose 1991 eruption caused a global temperature drop and triggered crises in various parts of the world, the supervolcano Campi Flegre could unleash an even more devastating impact. This is the moment to focus on God's word, seek his guidance, and be spiritually ready for any eventuality. As the Apostle Paul exhorts us in Ephesians 6.13, Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. The Bible provides us with the tools to face these challenges. Instead of being caught off guard, we must strengthen ourselves in faith, read the scriptures, and maintain a constant posture of vigilance. We cannot ignore the clear signs that the earth and the heavens are showing us. Rather, we need to be alert and prepared as it is written in Hebrews 12, 26, 27. At that time, his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. The words once more indicate the removing of what can be shaken, that is created things, so that what cannot be shaken may remain.
Now, with this understanding, let's explore the real and imminent threat of a catastrophic supervolcano eruption and the global implications of such an event. When we talk about supervolcanoes, like the Campi Flegre in Italy, we are dealing with a threat that has the potential to cause devastation on a global scale, something that few truly comprehend. A supervolcano eruption doesn't just alter the physical landscape, it has the power to change the course of human history. The Bible gives us examples of how natural catastrophes can be used by God to fulfill His purposes and bring forth His sovereign power. In the book of Joel, we read about cataclysmic signs that will precede the day of the Lord. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Joel 2.30, 31. History teaches us that volcanic eruptions can have catastrophic impacts. A classic example is the year without a summer in 1816, caused by the eruption of Mount Tambora. Global temperatures dropped drastically, resulting in crop failures, famine, and economic crises. Now, imagine a similar or even larger event, like the potential eruption of Campi Flegre. The impact would be devastating. Global cooling, agricultural disasters, mass displacements, and a world crisis that would make any recent event seem small in comparison. This is a grim reminder that creation, in all its vastness and power, is subject to the Creator. However, the deeper issue here isn't just about science or natural consequences, but what this means in a spiritual context. God has used natural disasters to judge and redeem entire nations, as we see in the story of the Exodus, where the plagues of Egypt culminated in the liberation of the people of Israel. In Exodus 9, 23, 24, God sends thunder and hail, and fire ran along the ground, causing destruction throughout the land of Egypt. This reminds us that God's power is present even in the most overwhelming forces of nature, and nothing happens without His permission. The imminence of such a disaster leads us to reflect on our spiritual preparedness. Are we ready to face the consequences that may arise from an event like this? The Bible instructs us to not only be physically prepared, but to be firm in faith, knowing that God is in control of all things. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. Psalm 127, 1. Our security is not in our human preparations, but in our trust in God. Supervolcanoes remind us of the fragility of our existence and the urgent need to turn to God for salvation and protection. While the world worries about the physical implications, believers must focus on spiritual preparation, knowing that ultimately, our relationship with God will determine our safety. As the Apostle Peter said in 2 Peter 3.10, 12, but the day of the Lord will come like a thief the heavens will disappear with a roar, the elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God and speed its coming. As we consider the threat of a volcanic eruption, it is vital that we recognize that these events are not separate from the spiritual reality we live in, the Bible calls us to be vigilant and to see beyond what the physical eyes perceive, recognizing God's hand in every occurrence. The question that each of us must ask is, am I ready to meet the Creator? And if everything we know changed overnight, where would our confidence be? Now let's delve into the issue of technological control and how this connects with biblical prophecies that predict the loss of freedom and privacy in the last days. The world has witnessed a rapid rise in the use of surveillance and control technologies, such as digital IDs and biometric systems. What many see as convenience is in reality, pushing us towards a reality foretold in the scriptures. Revelation 13, 16, 17 warns us about the day when everyone will be forced to carry a mark to buy or sell. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads, so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark. 
This system of control is not something distant. It's already being built before our eyes. Today, there is no privacy like before. Facial recognition, mass data collection, and the digitalization of identities are tools aligning with the prophetic scenario described in the Bible. The technological advancement itself is not the problem. The real danger lies in how this technology will be used. We are heading towards a future where freedom of choice will be severely limited. This raises the question, who will control the system and what will happen to those who don't fit into it? The reality is that total control over finances, movement, and even the health of every person is becoming increasingly tangible. Technologies like implantable chips, once considered futuristic, are now a reality. And the danger of such technology lies not just in its existence, but in how it will be used to enforce compliance. The Bible has already warned us about this scenario, and it's up to us to discern what's happening. Ephesians 5, 15, 16 teaches us, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Our focus should always be on God. Even in the face of technological control, the Lord calls us to stand firm in our faith. True security is not in human systems, but in our trust in God, who is sovereign over all things. In Matthew 10, 28, Jesus warns us, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. We must remember that in the end, our loyalty to God is what matters, not what the system imposes. As technological control advances, we approach a decisive moment. What will we do when our freedoms are threatened? Are we spiritually prepared to resist the system of the world? Biblical prophecies are not just a simple warning, but a call to action. We must watch and pray, seeking discernment and strength in God, for He is our true source of protection and wisdom. Now that you understand how urgent the times we are living in are, the most important question is, what will you do with this knowledge? It's not enough to just watch and return to your routine as if nothing is happening. God gave us these signs so that we can act, so that we can prepare and seek refuge in Him. Technological control, earthquakes, and all the biblical prophecies are a warning. And you are being called to change your life now. Are you spiritually ready for what's coming? If this message touched your heart, think about how many others need to hear this. Share this video, leave your like, and subscribe to the channel so more people can be prepared. The more we spread the truth, the more lives will be impacted. And don't forget, Turn on notifications to continue receiving these revelations and stay spiritually vigilant. Now I invite you to a moment that could change the course of your life. Close your eyes, open your heart, and allow God's presence to envelop you. This is the moment where heaven meets earth, where barriers fall and the impossible bows before the power of our God. There is no distance that can stop the move of the Holy Spirit. Where you are, he is already there. Prepare to feel God's touch like perhaps you've never felt before. This is the time to declare victory over your life and allow God's Spirit to lead you to a new level of faith and intimacy. We pray, Almighty God, at this moment, we cry out for your glory over us. May your Holy Spirit descend with power upon every life here right now. We exalt you, Lord, because we know you are the God who opens doors where there is no way, who makes the miracle happen where hope was gone. Father, in Jesus' name, we break down every barrier, every spiritual wall that has hindered your people from advancing. We declare deliverance, healing, renewal, and a new time over each person hearing this prayer. Holy Spirit, visit every home, every heart, and fill them with your presence. May the fire of the Lord descend now, burning away all anguish, all fear, all doubt, bringing healing, bringing peace, bringing transformation. We declare that from this moment on, nothing will be as it was before, because you are in control of all things. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. God bless you all and see you in the next videos. As we close another chapter together, I know some questions might still echo in your mind. You may be wondering how to navigate the complexities of spiritual life and unlock a path of abundance and blessings. The journey is challenging, 
but you don't have to walk it alone. In the comments, you'll find a powerful key to this door many seek to open. The ebook, Discover Prosperity with God, the ultimate guide to overcoming spiritual challenges and living a life of abundance. This is not just any book. It is the fruit of years of research, experience, and profound revelations now within your reach. Imagine overcoming the barriers that prevent your spiritual and financial growth. Think of the comfort and security of living a life aligned with the promises of prosperity meant for you. This ebook is more than words on a page. It's a map to the treasure you deserve. Join the many who are already on a path illuminated by faith and knowledge. The power to transform your life is just a click away. Check it out now in the comments and start your journey to a life of fulfillment and prosperity. Remember, prosperity with God is not just a distant dream. It's a promise waiting to be fulfilled. With this guide, you're one step closer to making it a reality. Your success story begins today.